you ever wonder when you were reading the Bible, as I do every day, what are those oils that they anoint Jesus with? Sacramental oils have been part of a religion of religions for thousands of years. And they never really tell you what those oils are. They just call them sacramental oils. But if you looked into it, what you'd find out, and what Dr. or Professor Carl Rook has found out from his historical studies, is that for the most part, those sacramental oils were actually hemp oil. Or what some people might call hash oil. <laughs> um, because they probably used the high potency drug type of marijuana, not the hemp type of marijuana, to make this, these oils. Uh, and so they probably had a fairly good amount of, a uh, fairly good clobber of THC in them. I mean, if you've ever smoked hash oil, you probably be familiar with how much T THC there is in hash oil. There's quite a lot. Uh, and uh, it can be absorbed through the skin. So a topical uh, application of uh, high potency cannabis oil would probably put you in a religious state, <laughs> so to speak. And that's what uh, Professor Carl Rook of Boston University Classics Studies is going to be explaining to us all uh, at the next board meeting, which is on Wednesday the 26th at 6 o'clock, 6.30 at the Pizzeria Uno in Newton on Washington Street. We have a well, we hopefully have our private room in back. They, they're supposed to give it to us. Sometimes they screw up. Uh, and also, uh, Professor Rook is going to be speaking for us at our members meeting, which is going to be coming in June. Do you have a date on it? June 17th. Uh, June 26th. June 26th members meeting. And where is that again? Uh, hasn't been. We haven't found a venue yet, but we're trying to find a place near Natick or Framingham. Uh, to be just west of the city. All right. And then uh, well, May 28th, we got our battle for, battle for the rally. That's right, the battle for the rally. To see what bands are going to be able to play on the ra on the rally stage. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. And uh, we'll have, you know, it's, it's a great party. There's all kinds of great people there. The bands are going to play. It's going to be great music. There'll be mass can speakers there to talk about, uh, you know, how people can help out and get involved. Um, and also, you know, if people are interested in getting involved, they should contact us right now because we're petitioning all over Massachusetts. We've got tons and tons of petitions going. Um, if there isn't one going in your town, you can get one going in your town. Uh, but now's the time to stand up because this spring is when we're allowed to do this petitioning. Pretty soon it's going to end, so we got to make sure we get it done as soon and as possible. One, and one, la uh, one last thing today. Actually, maybe two. <laughs> we had a meeting today. We discussed two different subjects. We, do you want to talk about, especially the big news, like about the Freedom Rally? What, what do we oh. pretty much say what we can say? Uh, well, it looks as though uh, we're going to have an exclusive deal for the vending of food at the Freedom Rally. And the payment is going to be many thousands of dollars. Uh, one way or another. And who worked on that? Who were the three three people that were working on that? Well, I'd say the primary breakthrough came from a relationship that our new president, uh, Mike C., Mike Crawford, had. Um, but it's also uh, Scott, Scott Madelon of uh, Stingray Body Art. Um, and, uh, you know, to some degree I tried to help. And yourself. Who closed? Yeah. You closed it. So you, you <laughs> Take the full credit, Phil. You closed uh, it. I don't know. Maybe. I wrote the letter that, that they used to justify offering us the price. But, you know, I'm not going to get into the details of that because we haven't actually even yeah. chosen the vendor. It's exactly. just that we've gotten a, we got a great, great offer. offer. And uh, so now we can go to other potential uh, exclusive food vendors, see if they want a counter offer. Um, but even if we don't get any counter offers, I think this is such a good deal that. Uh, that the rally's going to be on for 2011 easy, 2010, 2011, hopefully ad infinitum. Um, uh, you know, and like I said, even if uh, we get everything we want, even if there is legal access for adults to uh, marijuana for recreational use, there's probably still going to be a rally. <laughs> yeah. And other events. Yeah, 
Yeah, and other events. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you, Bill Downey. My pleasure. Thank you for uh, everything you're doing here. Oh yeah. Oh no. It's it's I, we're doing a good thing, and it's finally paying. So it gives me a great feeling. Of now look at society. Some things have gone wrong. The masses just can't understand. Your place right next to his throat. Read and revelation, people, and you will know. Selassie, I earth's rightful ruler, Rastafari says so. We are the chosen ones to carry the song. We're teaching the Oh, oh, oh.